right now let's come back and see the next type of conversions hope till now you would have understood how to start about in the exam now let's see this now they've asked me to convert benzene to meta bromophenol let us write the formula first i have to write benzene okay then what should i convert it into i have to convert it into meta bromophenol so let's write that meta bro okay let us let me take some space okay meta bromophenol so this is a para this is ortho this is meta so in the meta position we have br and it is normal phenol so let us write the name of this meta bromophenol now what extra is there in this compound here you have benzene you have an oh group and you have a br group you need to introduce both these groups to this now i very well said first important thing is before you get this phenol you need to have a nucleophile cl to replace this okay you should have a cl then you will pick up some base to uh, take out that cl and come back okay this is this work i can do and after that be, like uh, to introduce bromine i can do bromination reaction right isn't it now let's see but to get that cl also right before that what is the procedure first you do nitration this easiest way from nitration you will convert it into aniline amines from amines you can introduce uh, your cl group and that thing or be a group and then finally okay let me explain what i'm trying to say so to introduce these two groups first basically try to do nitration hno3 and h2so4 nitration reaction as soon as you do nitration i can introduce no2 plus to this right so this is your no2 now an no2 always converts into the nh2 that is what we have studied but before that let me introduce bromine how can i introduce bromine i can introduce br2 and febr3 to this thing now easily nitro is there and your bromine is here now next thing i have to convert the nitro group to amines how can i convert i have to remove oxygen and add hydrogen to this which will do that reducing agent what are the reducing agent either you can take sn by hcl or fe by hcl this is a reducing agent what does it do it immediately from nitro it adds to amines here bromine done now bromine i have to convert this nh to amines to alcohols so what is the thing i said oh should be replaced by cl that means there should be a group which introduces cl isn't it what is that group i will go with a reaction where i am introducing nano2 and hcl when i take nano2 and hcl what will happen yes simple isn't it we are going to convert using sanmeyer's reaction we are going to convert amines to bdc amine will become into cl and br is still there now this n2cl what will happen i can warm it just warm when you warm it right in the presence of uh, water so this nitrogen gas escapes out h will come out as cl and what else is left oh once again nitrogen escapes out h comes out as hcl and the left oh is here that's it this is the reaction let me see one more type of reaction here so when i have to see the next type of reaction if they ask me to convert benzene right so basically i'm trying to do all benzene reactions only here they've asked me to convert benzene into methyl benzoate methyl benzoate how should i do this let me write this formula first first you're going to take benzene write the formula for methyl benzoate let us write that this is your benzene ring methyl benzoate this it that means with benzene ring benzoate is coo but this is methyl benzoate methyl benzoate so let us write that methyl benzoate benzoate done now let's see what is the group which is added to this from benzene we have or we have added ch3 group from benzene i have added co group okay this is an ester isn't it co so what should be there i have to do a process called esterification reaction okay before this done so first we basic thing before i have to reach this point i need to start from here what is the first thing to this group but uh, your uh, this uh, particular thing extra is 
ester okay esterification but there is one group methyl group also added so when you are you are adding a new group to this you need to use grignard's reagent addition compounds so first important thing try to add make prepare grignard's reagent so what can i do i am going to introduce bromine to this in the presence of febr3 then immediately i am going to get bromobenzene now i am going to add i have to prepare grignard's reagent magnesium in dry ether then what do i get i am going to get mg br then so to this mg mg br what should you do i said you have to introduce now this grignard's reagent is ready now i need to add this this group isn't it this group and this group i have to be careful to to add to this group i am going to introduce we have studied in grignard's this one carbon dioxide and in the means of dry ice that is your dry ice so what do i get i am going to get a compound which is c double bond o o m g b r that so i am gradually coming closer to this this m g b r if i have to take now h3o plus why did i use h3o plus in the presence of acidic acidic medium acidic medium i can convert this into coh i'll tell you why i did this because the coh group here i said esterification reaction esterification is a combination of acid plus alcohol so here what can i do i can use ch3oh so which is this reaction this is called esterification reaction so i am going to take out water from here and what do i get i get ester that is methyl benzoate then so concentrated sulfuric acid also so concentrated h2so4 also this is it so these are the complete uh, this is reactions of uh, uh, benzene the maximum conversions rather to your uh, whichever product they ask you benzene conversions basically so after benzene conversions gradually let us go into the next type of conversion which i gave in the index so what is that now benzene to different types of combinations i have studied now let me teach you Uh, like if i have some other okay in the paper i have given you many other uh, conversions also combinations let's see all the combinations one after the other i i thought okay we will do that combinations also you will understand so here what will happen in the exam paper like let me underline the, if they give you one more with benzene let me try benzene to meta nitro benzoic acid meta nitro benzoic acid so this compound is given to me so what should i do first i'll write the name of the compound that is benzene i am going to write the name of the compound benzene that is meta nitro benzoic acid this is your cooh at the meta position you have no2 this is a compound right yeah. so now what what are we going to do i have to introduce cooh group i have to introduce no2 group also these two isn't it so to introduce these two groups what should i do first i have to introduce <coughs> which one extra is which this carboxyl group suddenly i can't get coh group i need to introduce from somewhere which will add your uh, what do you say grignard's reagent will add this isn't it grignard's reagent can easily add this carbon so come back start from br when you add br what will happen it will uh, come back or uh, this this br adds to this now further i'm going to add magnesium in dry ether when i add magnesium in dry ether what will this become to this will become to mg br with that reagent is almost getting ready now from here i'm going to take carbon dioxide and dry ice so when i introduce carbon dioxide see gradually i'm trying to introduce this group into this so coh group now this is this comes to coo o mg br done fine so after this next important thing gradually now we are trying to see to convert this one to this group what can i do i have to take out mg br then only i'll get this group now i can introduce an acidic medium to this when i introduce an acidic medium i am going to get that that is lost and you are left with this this is basically like hoh if i take this becomes cooh and ml you will get mgoh br out then benzoic acid still it is not complete i need to introduce no2 to introduce no2 we very well know we are going to use nitrating mixture concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 that's it your conversion is done you convert into benzene into meta nitro benzoic acid let me see one more type of conversion so when i have to see the next type of conversion what do they ask me they have asked me to convert benzene to para nitro benzaldehyde 
okay let's start first i have benzene right i have para nitro benzaldehyde let me write that i have a benzene ring with benzaldehyde and no2 now what should i do i have to add your carbon this carbon and this group and after that i need to add nitro okay nitro i can easily add with nitrating mixture but one important thing is you have to see that you are uh, doing it sequentially let's see how to start so benzene is there with me to introduce this group simple i have to first add do alkylation why should i do alkylation because your uh, anhydrous al cl3 the benzene uh, see directly nitration no first try to add the this group then come back to this group now alkylation if you do you get toluene this is toluene from toluene what do we do gradually you have to see that this group from here there is nothing here nothing here nothing here i have to come to this group this is your uh, hno3 and h2so4 nitration then what do you get you are going to get benzene ring ch3 with no2 now from this to this i need we very well study it one that is your uh, chromyl chloride in the presence of chromyl chloride we have done one name reaction also hope you remember itar reaction i believe yes so we have we are going to do chromyl chloride that is cro2 cl2 in the presence of carbon disulfide this group with itar reaction i have shown the mechanism also this becomes ch o cro h cl2 further if i have to take i am only left with this group this group i can do i can uh, nitro is also there no2 compared to this group if i have to take out i have to get this that means i can do acidification h3o plus or it is hoh rather what will happen this o group goes and adds here and this comes out which i have shown already so simple i got para nitro benzaldehyde let us finish the last type of uh, conversion with benzene that is here they have given me benzene to meta nitro acetophenone okay why well, such a big name i have to remember acetophenone so what is this how to do this first try to write benzene meta nitro acetophenone let us write the name of that this is benzene this said meta nitro acetophenone this said Then I have. Let us write acetophenone. Okay, meta nitro acetophenone. Acetophenone formula. It is CO CH three. This is acetophenone. If I take meta to that group, meta nitro acetophenone. Now what should I do? I have to introduce which group? I have to introduce NO two group, which I can do with nitration. I have to introduce this group, which I can do with acylation. Simple, isn't it? So first thing, try to do nitration HNO three H two SO four. Then immediately I am going to get benzene NO two. Then what do you do? I am going to do acylation reaction. How can I acylate? CH three CO Cl, which we have studied. Acyl chloride, guys. I can take this in the presence of anhydrous AlCl three. Anhydrous AlCl three. Then immediately this breakage of this uh, particular thing and CO CH three goes and acts. So I am going to get meta nitro acetophenone. That's it.